So I wanted to make a video about files and folders and how I organize them. I get a lot of questions from clients saying, where should I put my files? Which cloud service should I use, et cetera, et cetera? Should I use iCloud, so on? So I wanted to show you how I organize my files and maybe you'll get some benefit from it. So as you can see, my desktop is completely blank. Um, I, I don't have anything on my desktop and I'll show you um, how. <laughs> Um, as you know, I only use Google Chrome in my, um, as my app. Um, this is my uh, screen recording app that I'm recording this with. So if I open a new Finder window, and obviously you can do that from here as well, and you can press Command N. Uh, as you can see, I, on my desktop I have nothing, nothing at all, nothing at all. Uh, in my Documents folder, again, nothing and I'll uh, go through as to why that is in a moment. In my downloads folder, again, nothing. I have archive and uh, um, a few things in there that's um, private, etc. And obviously my Google Drive, which has a lot of um, things, uh, folders that creates automatically via the phone app. Um, and this is where my downloads folder is, and I'll go through that as well as to how I set that up. Um, my drive, my drive is actually Google Drive. Uh, as you know, I've moved my whole business and life and data into the cloud. And one of the services I'm using is uh, Google Drive. The other one is actually iCloud. Now, uh, if you notice here, iCloud, my desktop, my documents and my downloads are all in my uh, iCloud drive, uh, like so. And that way, if I lose my computer, it gets stolen or I fall into a swimming pool or something, I can go to an Apple store, begrudgingly given my credit card, pick up uh, another, Mac, uh, another MacBook or whatever, another Mac, and uh, log in, and basically everything is there. So I'm kind of pleased that I've, I, I've done that now. I haven't, haven't had to do that right now, but you never know. Um, in my home folder, this downloads uh, uh, folder I don't use. Uh, so this downloads folder, you can actually set your browsers, um, you can set the folder where the browsers download automatically. So I set it to the folder in my iCloud drive here. So in my drive, I have two folders, private, which I don't want to show things, obviously private stuff and business. Um, archive is my old private stuff, um, old business and things that I don't need at hand, but it's, I, I like having an archive folder so it's not in the file structure that I use daily. Clients, I won't go into it, obviously it's private, it's, uh, it's just a bunch of folders with different clients, so I put documents, uh, files, folders, um, apps, um, anything to do with a client, client project, I uh, put into uh, clients. Courses are the courses that I'm doing and I've taken. Documents are individual files um, and they're mainly G Suite files. I won't go into there because obviously it's private. So, um, But everything, I, I put everything in one place and there's a reason I do that because, because I use G Suite, G Suite has this amazing ability to search through anything and everything. So I never need to create folders <clears throat> for documents for myself because I can search. Now, if a time comes where I'm working on a project, I create a project folder like I do with clients and put everything um, within that folder. That's what I've done with things like legal, for instance. Um, finance, these are, I started in 2007, yes, <laughs> it's a long time ago. These are per year. <clears throat> this 2019 is actually the same as this 2019 over here. So I can access my uh, financial information quite easily, quite quickly. So I organize everything per, per month, uh, as you can see. In the olden days, I actually didn't, because uh, there was no reason to, because of the way I worked. But since 2008, 2019, I started doing that. Uh, images are just uh, images I use online and um, logos and stuff like that. And yes, I'm working on a different type of logo. <laughs> Let's not go there. Legal, I won't go into. That's just legal information that's private and um, business. 
movies that I've made, that I'm going to make, etc. And research, uh, again, it's, uh, it's kind of private stuff um, that I won't go into um, researching private stuff as well, as well as business stuff. So that is my filing structure. There's really not that much to it. And you don't need to make it too complicated. If you're working on a project, put everything pertaining to that project within that folder. So create a folder or a client or so on. That, that's basically how I do it. Um, even when I get emails, um, if an email is to do with a project, I generally copy paste it and put it into the, my project management tool. And it works really, really well. Uh, that's it. Uh, there is not much else to show you. I just want to show you how I work. Um, hopefully you found some uh, benefit from it. <clears throat> and if you need any help, just uh, book a call. You can book a call on my website. Go to my website, send me a message, let's book a call. And then hopefully um, I can give you some more information about how to do this. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day and I'll see you later. Ciao.